everyone, welcome to another edition of How Did She Quilt That? Or How Did I Quilt That? This is a Canadian quilt of valor. It's the first quilt I did on my long arm machine. A friend of mine helps organize the quilts of valor around our area, and so she dropped off this top for me to practice on. Now, sometimes your best ideas don't work, okay? Because when I first got this, I thought, all right, I'm gonna do some feathers in the white areas, the white and yellow areas, and then I'm gonna do like squiggly lines or something in the red and more colorful areas. Well, that didn't work. The If you look, the log cabin squares are not equal in size. These ones are bigger than these ones. So that really, it didn't look good and the tension on the back was not good. So don't forget, this was my first real quilt. I had done a few what I call ugly dog quilts. Uh, they were just pieces of fabric that I sewed together and quilted and then donated to a local adoption group. But this was my first real quilt. Um, after I did two rows of this, I thought, eh, 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 this isn't working. And I spent a whole day picking out the sewing of those two rows. The tension wasn't good. I wasn't happy with it. When I give something away, whether it's for charity or what, it has to be something that I would be proud of, that I would like to use. And I wasn't. So this is what I ended up doing. After I picked it all up, all I did was wavy lines. Because to me, log cabins can be very harsh. They can be beautiful, but they can be harsh with their start straight lines in their sharp corners. So I thought that the squiggly lines would help soften that a little bit. And I think that did it. So that's what you can see. So I just alternated here on the yellow and the white, I had the lines going down. Here on the yellow and the white, I had the lines going across. And so I just alternated back and forth. And then we can see by the back that uh, the quilting is pretty good. There were some issues. Some mistakes, but not many. See, you can see in the center squares, I did swirly things. Now on my domestic home machine, I have no problems doing swirly things. Swirly things from my first quilt on my long arm didn't quite turn out so well. But overall, it had a nice effect and I'm happy with it. And now it's ready to go back for squaring up and binding. And that's how I quilted this quilt of valor.